Vigo County is higher rate of those that are vaping versus the national average. The number of teens vaping is growing at an alarming rate. Good evening and thanks for joining us. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Indiana ranks high in the country for most people who vape. It's a problem local organizations are working to solve. News 10 Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom tonight. She spoke with experts there about the problem. In tonight's top story, she has more on the effects of vaping and how Hamilton Center is trying to help. Patrice Rondrell, Indiana ranks number three in the country for most people who vape and the Hamilton Center in Terre Haute is trying to help educate people on the dangers of that. In some ways, vaping can be more dangerous than regular cigarettes. Effects from vaping can be even worse on kids. We know that many of the students now um, in the adolescence that we see here in this county and across our counties that we serve are utilizing vaping rather than the traditional um, cigarette. Emily Owens is the executive director of clinical services at the Hamilton Center in Terre Haute. She says they've seen a big jump in Vigo County kids who are vaping. Three to four percent of middle schoolers have at least tried it. Um, we know that 11 to 12 percent of high schoolers have tried vaping. Um, that's a sharp increase from the previous years. The nicotine in vapes and e-cigarettes is more concentrated and there's more of it, making it that more addictive. It can slow brain development in teens and increase the risk of other types of addictions later in life. Owens also points out you don't always know what someone puts in their vape. She says right now the problem is that people aren't educated. I'd say the big, biggest risk for the adolescents is sometimes they don't know what they're actually inhaling. And so a lot of adolescents think that there's not a risk to vaping. Um, the, the marketing has really targeted adolescents. So a lot of the adolescents just, they're not aware, they're not educated. Owen says if we don't get in front of this problem now, it'll catch up to us in the future. The adolescents that are vaping now are going to probably start having some long lasting effects if they don't stop. Now the Hamilton Center does have programs to help. They hope to expand on those programs and get more kids who are vaping or have the potential to become addicted. If you want to learn more, you can call the Hamilton Center at the number on your screen or you can visit our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman. News 10, back to you. A change to a city ordinance in Carmel, Indiana could help stop teen vaping. The ordinance would allow officers to ticket students 18 or older who are caught vaping on school grounds. Students would face a fine of up to $500. There's also a proposal at the state level to move the legal age to buy tobacco products from 18 to 21.